Hello, everybody. How's it going? I know what you're about to say. I know what you're thinking. What you're thinking is, Lewis, you sound drunk. Correct. I am drunk. It actually helps me think from time to time. So I like to talk to myself or talk while I'm thinking. And if people see a drunk man talking to himself, they don't really think much. If they see a sober person talking to themselves, that's when they, you know, call people to take me to a padded room. But anyway, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what I wanted to do regarding a video I did a week ago, uh, Incredible Frustration. The TLDR of that video is that there are organizations that claim to support right to repair publicly, and then privately, they will ask to be removed from pieces of legislation. They will make claims as to why they wish to be removed from that legislation that have nothing to do with the specific benefactors in that legislation. In this case, I'm discussing farmers. Now, because I have retained a lobbyist in many different states, I am privy to the conversations that they have with a number of different people from a number of different groups. And some of these individuals most certainly are aware that those communications that they have with this lobbyist are then going to be shared with the lobbyist client, who in this case is the organization, which is technically me. I'm the executive director of the organization. My name is on the bank accounts. I write the checks and I'm the one who they're sharing it with. So when they give the reasons publicly for what they support, but then privately say, we don't want to be included in this legislation because X. It's hard here because I'm biting my tongue because I recognize that if I share this publicly, I'm the asshole because I then shared what would be considered private communications. And when you become the asshole, you lose. It's this really annoying gay cry bully thing where if I, you, like you can do as much as you want but the moment that I actually do something to show what you're doing, nobody takes me seriously. I hate politics. Can I be honest with you? But one of the things that is uh, aggravating here is I know for a fact that if I were to share this email with any farmer in the United States of America, they would read that email and not just say, that's BS, that's not true, but they would also be incredibly angry because they're being misrepresented. Now, I kind of think I portrayed the two potential options in my last video as a binary. Either A, just do nothing, or B, do something, which is pretty much share that publicly, let every single person know. And I think I've come to a happy middle ground. What I'd like to be, do is I would like to have a conversation with the individual that wrote that email and say, listen, let's just put this aside for a moment off the record. Can you honestly tell me why it is that you asked to be removed from this piece of legislation? Because here's my problem. I want to I, I just explain what my issue is. The reason that you gave, it doesn't just represent you. It represents farmers. And I know that what you said was not true. And because I know that what you said was not true, I'm not capable of keeping my mouth shut. I can't. Uh, here's my problem. You have to understand where I'm coming from. I spent 33 years in New York City. I have never been an attractor before. I have never planted anything before. I have never used a seed. I have never put a shovel into dirt. So my credibility amongst farmers is literally nothing. They have no reason to actually believe that I wish to help them with any of what I'm doing. So if you, who <laughs> represent farmers, you must understand my position here. If you who represent farmers claim publicly you support this, but then a bill that I'm publicly lobbying for, I say exclude farmers. Do you understand how bad that makes me look? And to be clear, I'm not a person that typically cares about appearances, but I care about my positions being represented honestly. Regardless of whether you agree or disagree with most of what I've done in life, and there's a lot to disagree with, I am honest with all of my positions. I'm honest about why I say what I say, why I do what I do. You may think it's stupid. A lot of the times it is stupid. I've done many things over the past 12 years that uh, I believe are stupid. And the things that I've done that are stupid that still bother me to this day as if it happened an hour ago are the times where I was not being honest with myself. Those are the ones that burn the hardest. So... If in a particular area, legislation does not go forward 
that might help a farmer. I don't want them saying that Lewis's lobbyist requested that this particular thing be removed from the bill for no good reason. That, that's not how this is going to work. If you wish to have your name removed, I want you to state publicly the exact same reason that you wrote in that private email so that farmers can understand, A, this organization with this name, and my God, I am biting my tongue so hard right now. This organization with this name does not want to be on this bill. B, here is the reason so that the farmers understand who is on their side and who is not on their side, who is trying to get something done, who is going out of their way to slow walk pieces of legislation, and then they can make their own decision as to which groups they support and don't, either rhetorically, morally, or financially. At the end of the day, I don't pay myself a salary from this organization. I get zero dollars to manage lobbyists in six states, soon to be six plus federal, and we are very soon aiming for another state, which I will leave until next week. I want to keep it a surprise for the time being. So seven states. This is, and, and to kind of know what's going on in every single state, it's a lot of balls in the air. It's a lot of stuff to manage, a lot of stuff to, to deal with. I don't get paid for that. And to be clear, I'm fine not getting paid for it. That's fine. But because I'm not getting paid for it, it makes zero sense whatsoever for me to then toss my reputation under a truck while I'm at it, which is how I see it. If, sorry, alcohol, train of thought, train of thought. Oreo, where was I? Oreo? If I'm not getting paid for this, there's no way in hell I'm not getting paid and I'm going to get seemingly tossed under a bus because it looks like I'm not supporting a group of people that are the group of people that I've supported since my first time showing up at one of these hearings like seven or eight years ago. If the person that actually gets paid a full-time salary to do what, in my opinion, is the wrong thing for the people they represent, to do what is factually not what the people who are paying them to represent them want, I think that needs to become public knowledge in some way, shape, or form. I do not wish to request that agriculture be removed from X bill in Y state without giving Z reason. Explain to me how we can move past this. Because this being a private email is not something that that's going to work. Explain to me who is actually squeezing you and why. If you can do that, if you can give me an honest to God answer, then we can just like let things go. But if you can't give me an honest answer, you leave me very little choice here. Help me. I want to see how that conversation goes with that individual. I also want to have a talk with somebody who works with that individual and see what can be worked out. That's what I would like to do tomorrow morning. I thought about that for a good amount of time. I've spoken with uh, my own lobbyist. I've spoken with other people involved in different states who are having the same problems with this particular organization in their particular states. And that's where I'm at. I'm hoping that I could come to some sort of resolution. Because I understand the way that that would look. And like, I didn't even really get that until, to be honest with you, until I had a drink this evening. But like, I had a drink with a friend of mine who said, wouldn't that look weird? I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, like, no, you know, no offense, but you know the stereotype of a New York City city slicker or whatever that doesn't care about people in the, quote, flyover states and stuff like that. You enter, you hire a lobbyist to push a bill in their state, and then they get removed from it. Who are they going to look at and be mad at? An organization that represents them or the city slicker? And it's like, yeah, I never thought of that. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, and the thing is, I don't believe at the end of the day that anybody that donated to this organization did so because they believe that I am a competent politician, that I'm a competent lobbyist, that I'm a competent legislator, 
any of these things. I think the one thing I have going for me, if I'm being honest with myself, and I always try to be honest with myself, it's hard at times, but I don't think it's because I'm competent, because I'm smart, because I'm an experienced legislator, because I'm an experienced lobbyist, because I know jack shit about the political system. The one thing I think people donated for is because they trust that if something smells rotten, that I will do something about it when nobody else will. That at the very least, even if something is not passed, you'll kind of have an idea of what is corrupt, where that corruption is, why that corruption happened, and that I'll dig. Like, even if I don't win, even if I don't get my desired result, that I will dig and dig and dig and dig and be able to say that I tried. Whereas somebody else may just sit there, cash checks, laugh, and use it to buy Oreo greenies, which I did not buy him, by the way. That's why he's here and he has his little paw for me because he's trying to suck up to me so that he can get some more fucking food after he had four cans of food today. And that's what I want to do. Like, at some point, I think it takes a little bit of faith to think this way, but you have to assume that whatever happens, if you tell the truth, or if you pursue the truth, is a good, is the, I shouldn't even say a good thing, is the best possible thing that could have happened. That if you don't do that, even if it's not necessarily a good thing that happens, whatever happens would, is worse if you don't do that than if you're honest and if you actually try to pursue the truth. Pursue the truth, even if something like, you know, a 3 out of 10 happens. If you didn't pursue the truth, maybe a 1 out of 10 or a negative 5 out of 10 type of event would have happened. So that's about it. I just wanted to share my thought process here. This is my shitposting channel, after all. So random shitpost thought while drunk, I thought would be a good idea. I don't... There are times where I wake up after, uh, after I, I drink with someone, and sometimes I think I may have done the wrong thing or said the wrong thing. I don't think that's the case here. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that tomorrow morning I will think the exact same thing of this plan that I do right now. Call the individual in that email. Explain to him the position I'm in. Explain to him how awkward it is that you've put me in this position where a New York City city slicker or computer repairman just starts lobbying on behalf of a bill that you've publicly said that you support, that your constituents support, and then that particular industry is taken out of the bill with no mention from that particular firm, who I'm not going to say, that they don't want to be included. The answer you gave is not something that any farmer in America would agree with. I understand that you're likely between a rock and a hard place here. Give me the actual answer, and then we can work together. We can work something out, but I need to be able to say something. And I can't be in this little rock where I'm not allowed to say what you told my lobbyist because it was a private communication. Bullshit. And most certainly, I'm not going to make something up. Help me help you, because what you said in that email is not true. I think it's a plan. I think it's a start to a plan at the very least. I like to start poking. I want to start probing. I'm probably going to piss a lot of people off, but that means I'm doing my job. I think if I start pissing people off in this manner, I think if I start lifting up the rug to see what's under it, I think if I start turning on the light in the kitchen, and I see the cockroaches flying away. I think that's what people wanted me to do with this organization. Regardless of whether I get a bill passed. Because even at the end of the day, if I don't get a bill passed, but I know I did everything I could along the way, I can live with myself. But there are certain failures that I've had where I can't live with myself. Because I wasn't honest with myself. And it's, I know it sounds weird, but like 10 to 12 years later, it still stings as much as it did it's kind of like, you know, if, if you puncture yourself on a nail or something, you hammer your finger. Like, it still hurts that way mentally, I mean, obviously. But like 10 years later, 12 years later, because I wasn't honest with myself and I did the stupid thing. Can't do that again. Can't do that again. That's it for today. You probably didn't learn anything. I may not regret this idea, but I'll likely regret uploading a video while drunk. But we'll see. See you in the next one.